Greetings, my monomaniacs. Pansman Bill, Pansman's Bunker, come to you with a much overdue update on my projects. Uh, I'm working right now on the Facebook, uh, the two Facebook <laughs> Century of Conflict group build on the group build group. This is the kit I'm working on. A venerable old Ravel kit. Very basic, old, old, but not a bad kit. Alright. Do the Century of Conflict, pound on five entries, World War One, Spanish Civil War, World War Two, Korea and Vietnam. I might do a Cold War build dude. Cold War build as well. Uh! Alright, here we go. Little flibber flabber jibber jabber. Alright, working on the working on it. The kit didn't have a cockpit, it just had the pilot sitting on a peg, so I made a, a little cockpit up using styrene. You know, something, you don't even see it once the pilot's in there, but I know it's there. And you know it's there. Oh, some sidewall detail, fabric kind of ribbing, stuff like that. Rib for her pleasure. Eh. Nice pilot, kind of soft on the detail, but I painted him up, looked pretty good. Wearing his furs and everything. Yeah, fur, the fur's murder. Eh. There he is in the cockpit, in situ. Sidewall panels painted up, looking good. Say, so the more basic the kit, the easier it is to add stuff. So, sometimes the basic kits are nice. There he is, sitting in there checking the fit. Actually, the fit of the parts together went great. The, the fuselage halves went together great. The wings went on great. The landing gear went on no problem. Even when the struts, because biplanes, when you put them struts on to put the top wing on. I did draw out the uh, exhaust and detailed up the machine gun a little bit. And when you put them struts on, that's always the, t the tell on the kit, and they, they lined up perfectly. So, it's a good little kit. I did add the little, uh, little bit of rigging it did have for the ailerons and back here on the rudder and such. That goes through the stabilizers underneath. Underneath it's real busy. Right there, it's busy. See, the underside's all kind of that's what it looks like on the real plane too, all these different cables crossing through. Okay, comes with that stencil. I decided to hand paint my own lozenge pattern. Turned out pretty good. Uh, the color scheme, uh, yeah, it's the Josta 18, Stoffel Robin, it's the Ravens. I went with a different color scheme than the kit. That red and white looks pretty striking. Lozenge pattern, ah, lozenges. Throat lozenges for her her pleasure. Uh, I right, this I had to paint up a draw in and paint up the, uh, the iconography for this uh, particular pilot, um, Kurt Monnington or something. Sounds like a Brit, but he's a German. A raven and a skull on the side. A little large, but you know that's what happens when you hand paint something. Doesn't already turn out right. Uh, that's it. Over here. Here she is with some decals slapped on her. I still got a little bit left to do before I'm finished with her. Let me reposition here. Uh, uh, really good, Bill. You're really dazzling with your production skills. Mm. Like I said, there's the raven and the uh, skull on the side. They're about 50% too large, but I like it. Decals were old, and of course they cracked and broke, and I had to get the white and black paint out and touch up the brakes and stuff. That's what happens when you get old decals. These decals are probably about 40, 45 years old. I only had to put the crosses on, really. But it's gloss coated right now. I'll, I'll seal everything in and then I'll dull coat it and do a little bit of uh, weathering. But she's almost done, practically done. But there she is. The plane of uh, Kurt Monnington of uh, Yasta 18, the Robin, Staffel Robin, Raven, the Ravens. I think they're also called the Red Noses. Yeah. But you'll get better better shots of her when I'm finished. All right, guys. See if you can jump in, and join the group build on uh, Facebook. It's uh. Rob Arninev is uh, hosting it. He's a good guy. He does, always does nice uh, group builds, and he's, he always puts out updates and stuff, and so he keeps everybody intrigued, involved, and motivated. 
Alright, hope everybody's summer's going well. Till next time, Panzerman Bill, Panzerman's Bunker saying, Alvita's ain't my dominant hair. Oh, oh, giggity. There's the puppies. Always sleeping. Huh? Always sleeping. Yes, they are. They're tired babies. Being destructive takes a lot of energy. You see, right now she's chewing that old rug. These dogs just destroy stuff all the time. And I love them. Little monsters. Alright guys, ciao baby.